South Korea is at war with smokers, with an 80% tax hike and rules to kick smokers out of public areas. The measures are part of an effort to reduce the nation's smoking rate, but rights groups see the new tobacco levy as a tax grab. I believe tobacco was the first target for increasing tax revenue. It's possible the government will try to increase other taxes, adopting the same logic. The WHO says raising cigarette prices reduces smoking, but suggests other measures work together. Healthcare advocates in South Korea seek restrictions on cigarette advertising and healthcare provisions. With the current non-price policies lacking, the effectiveness of the increased tax will not be seen. The government needs to put efforts into non-price policies and follow WHO recommendations. Smokers are battling back against the tax by purchasing tobacco illegally on the internet at duty-free and stocking up. Still, the tax hike may have some effect. I bought a lot of uh, cigarettes before that new law, but when I smoke all the cigarettes that I bought before, uh, it's really going to be hard for me to buy uh, uh, the cigarette for a high, for a high price. So maybe someday I'm going to have to start thinking about uh, stop smoking. Smoking in non-smoking areas risks fines of $100 for smokers and $5,000 for businesses, perhaps adding to the incentive to cut the habit. Everyone agrees that smoking harms smokers and others due to secondhand smoke and the harm of smoking to the unborn. But critics on all sides also say that free treatment for smoking addiction and other non-tax strategies need to be employed to reach the ends of improved public health. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.